here is a case of obstructed stone with bladder stone unfortunately contrast could not go beyond the stone into the kidney ultrasound was not available hydronephrotic kidney this is the posterior axillary line when we draped we have put for bladder stone and supine pcnl in fact usually bladder stones are done with laser nowadays and this type of stone we planned to do with the shaw suction sheath with very high energy and uh, uh, medi- low frequency that is 4 and 10 and it is very quick in making the powder without any movement so when we were doing this all the powder that is formed is instantaneously sucked by a simple shaw suction sheet of 15 french the nephroscope is 13.8 french shallies after doing half we thought that why not we do the supine pcnl and so that we can combine we injected contrast but it did not go a drop also into the system so much densely impacted neither the guide wire nor the ureteric catheter could cross it you can see that then we planned for a blind puncture 2 cm below the rib posterior to the tip of the rib 2 cm when we punctured kidney was moving like this this is like any other blind puncture first attempt it has not come but without changing the entry point a little adjustment has produced immediately we injected contrast to our surprise and luck more the lower calyx inferior border the needle was there exactly lower calyx inferior border was there so i need not uh, use another puncture i coiled nicely and did dilatation this was part of the fourth saturday workshop at preeti hospital uh, so we dilated and after dilatation uh, both uh, pcnl and bladder stone continued this is just to save time nothing ex- uh, great but sometimes when both are working for one hour it will become two hours or half an hour also it becomes one hour in general anesthesia we can finish both in uh, half an hour in fact uh, to our surprise the pcnl has become uh, faster finished uh, than the bladder stone bladder stone usually you have to make uh, powder and remove the fragments also last part of the fragments are difficult in bladder stone to remove whereas in pcnl uh, the sheath will be larger up to 22 french we have kept uh, and the size of the stone was more or less same but the pcnl uh, some of the stones went into the upper calyx uh, and they, there is no flush system here i must tell you in pcnl if you flush from below it will be easy but uh, 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 that was not there because there is no access from below once uh, uh, the main part of the impacted stone is removed then ureteric catheter is seen and flushing is done on the right side bladder stone is made powder usually bladder stone at the end uh, when small pieces are there evacuation and removing this takes uh, time so that time we did not want to waste if you have done bladder stone only in the beginning it might have definitely taken an hour extra so uh, in supine pcnl see how the inferior calyx is entered as well as bladder stone is removed so blind puncture is not advisable in the era of ultrasound i request uh, uh, all the interested juniors we are planning ultrasound guided punctures in prone and pcnl on march 10th uh, and also the entire surgery not only the puncture rest of the dilatation and removal of the stone also will be demonstrated by the seniors please register for a to z ultrasound on march uh, 10th of the 2024 thank you